King's death on April 4th, 1968, touched all three days of rioting and looting in Washington, D.C. Noon time Friday, the police and firemen fought, which, from the beginning, Friday afternoon, 7th and 14th Streets were burning out of control. More than 500 fires were to be set that day, 200 of them burning simultaneously. The fires knocked out electric power to many areas, and it was impossible to get a dial tone on the overloaded telephone circuits. Police officers reported to the mayor's office at 12.30 p.m. on Friday that they could not handle the riots alone. But despite this warning, from Chief Wilson, it was 4 p.m. before the government officials reacted to the crisis. By 4.40 p.m., a small contingent of 150 men from Company D, 3rd Infantry, moved from across the river into the city, the first troops to enter Washington since the bonus march of 1932. More troops followed them, and that evening and into the night. But as darkness fell, it was too late, for despite a curfew, all hell had broken loose. It was a night of total horror and frustration for firemen and police alike. After the ashes had cooled and the dust had settled, the total property damage was assessed at $50 million. Twelve people were killed. Twelve hundred were injured. Seventy-six hundred men, women, and children were arrested for arson, vandalism, and violation of curfew. People were shocked to find large portions of their old neighborhood had completely disappeared. 36 hours after the call of troops, there were 13,600 soldiers occupying the nation's capital, the most to stand duty in any city since the Civil War. They were not only armed with 50 caliber machine guns, they had tanks and armored cars in reserve. Although the troops were to stay for almost two weeks, the worst of the riots were over by Sunday, April the 7th. On Monday, repairs, boarding, and cleaning up began in the damaged area. In filming the riot areas, I came across a standing wall of a home completely destroyed that still had an American flag fluttering in the breeze. Nobody knows better than they that the curfew was too late. 